The most embarrassing game in 100 years started as normal on a Saturday night at Waverley and ended three days later. The Bombers had started against St Kilda without Hurd, still injured, and seemed to be a step ahead at every change. They were 20 points ahead, 22 minutes into the third quarter, when the unthinkable happened. A blowout of a high-voltage fuse at United Energy cut electricity supplies to Waverley, plunging the whole arena into darkness. By 10.15, the game had been abandoned. The spectators lit fires and ripped out the posts. After many red faces, the AFL Commission had no choice but to restart the game where it left off on the following Tuesday night. Yes, I think uh, it was important that St Kilda get the first goal. And if they could get another one, but uh, that's a terrific mark from behind McLean by Somerville. I think uh, it was mentioned on Saturday night, a much improved player, and he's uh, certainly an important uh, part of this Essendon lineup in their quest for success this year. Mark taken by Fraser. In goes Fraser, and he's put it through for a goal to the Bombers. Moving at all costs, Keo again inside 50. Fletcher attacks, well done. They couldn't quite put a tackle on him. Back into the centre, bad mistake made there by Bardsley. Wengerdeen gets it, could finish, keeps it low. Good look. O'Connor, well done, with strength, and then goes long. Gets it well inside 50. Heard in a wrestling match there with Young. Now Heard, good hands, Buick, a very good kick. Look at that one go home. As soon as the lights went out, I just made one beeline to the ground and kept them on the ground because I wanted to make sure that they couldn't, we couldn't get into trouble because you never know, the lights may have been able to go back on in, in one minute. So. There's a lot of what-ifs in that situation. Never happened before. And then, of course, you could see the smoke coming out of the tunnel, and I thought, <laughs> I don't think we want to go up that tunnel. So we just kept in a group down uh, at the mouth of the uh, race. And... Into half-board, once again with a high kick. Bandy with a big leap couldn't...